So two five ones are, are something all jazz guitar players will think about at one point in their life. And um, when I first learned about it, I, I took it very literally that there's two, five, one. And my line sounded a lot like that, you know. You know, and there was... And I didn't want to play that way, and I didn't know how to to kind of get out of that. I thought, well, those are the chords. you got to play everything. Kind of confront where they are. What What's happening when you play a lick? You know, rather than running away from it, there's nothing wrong with... Uh, you know, it's not you, and it's a lick, and it's kind of stale for anyone playing it today, other than Charlie Parker, but whatever. Um, so here's what's happening. You go down, up, and up. So let's say that's a, okay, that's interesting. So like down, up, up. Now, given whatever we know about two five ones at whatever stage in our playing we're at, um, let's do another down, up, up phrase. Um, so for me, that might be. Okay, so that's cool. So I learned something from that lick. Uh, let me find another down up, up phrase. Okay, so I can hear that there's shapes and there's movement. It's all a C major scale. You know, it all relates to that. This is the two chord, this is the five chord, the C major. So starting on D, I could just play a, a, a scale. I found it very useful, like I did in that example, to have to play a bass note while I improvise, so I could hear relationship from the root to the, the lines. So let me just do that. So here's the bass line. So that was me just kind of doing whatever. Um, at the core of it was a lot of triadic movement, a lot of... Uh, There's, I don't think there's any key, at least in my experience, to making something smooth that's not. Because even the most choppy stuff can sound smooth, and that has more to do with technique and clarity. So even if I want to... That's choppy. But if you play it in a way that's smooth, you'll get a smoother result. For me, I don't think much about two five ones. I think... Um, more about tension and release. So if I know this is one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, 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 two, three, four. Um, I have two bars of like other chords and then a C major. Now the other chords I can substitute. If I know that C major is here, I might choose to play C sharp major for the D minor and the G7. up a progression of F sharp minor, B flat minor, C sharp major, and then C. And I'll just superpose it over the 251. And so you, you kind of bend the rules a little bit. But I hope that sheds some light on my evolution as far as thinking of a 251 and what's important.